Here's up guys, in this video I'm going to be going over multiband dynamics. So it's this plugin right here within Ableton. Hooray. So I have this uh, kind of idea down. Right, and I have uh, my kick and my two kind of bass elements grouped together. You can kind of hear, if you if you have uh, headphones on, you're the, it's like kind of flubby. And that's not good. So what we can do is we can split that up into separate bands, uh, and you can fix this uh, without losing a whole lot of power. Uh, but it's far more effective than using an EQ. So we have our three bands here: one, two, three, and we can solo each. So I'm just going to show you basically how it all works, how I would go about compressing this uh, sort of thing. So we'll play it, and we'll just listen to each band separately. Right, so there lies in our problem. A little bit around there. And we can do something really fun with a high end later. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to compress. I'm going to bring down. You have two areas here. You have the threshold here and the amount of compression. Right? So what we'll do. Once it reaches that, we'll compress it. So we just bring it down. We can also bring it up. By moving the mouse up or down. It's kind of confusing, but you'll get it. All right, I like a gentle kind of compression on the low end. For the mid on that kind of problem frequency, we're going to play around with it until we get it right. All right. Adjust the attack, make it really quick. Listen to it uh, in context with each other. Turn it on and off. All right, so we're losing a bit of pressure. Uh, it sounds kind of uh, hollow. Now, there's a great way to go about that. We can do a bit of upwards compression. Maybe ease off the attack a bit. really kind of glues it all together it's basically a basically it's basically a compressor split into three bands so it's like, kind of like an EQ that just kind of EQs itself I'm gonna move this down to where it bites with the click all right both channels here I'm gonna move it in the opposite direction so this is upwards compression this is a great way to add a bit of upwards compression it's the opposite always remember to a b so in other words turn it on and off to hear what you're doing right. and you can listen to what it sounds like all together if you make a change in a group like this then you have to make a change into it but you have to make a change in everything every other sound right but all together that sounds uh, pretty decent for this exercise um yeah Hope you learned stuff and take care and have a good one.